I feel like the asking to prom thing wasn't a big thing. I got asked. Yeah. <laughs> through like, a strip show. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, if you are wondering what the hell we're wearing today, <laughs> and if we all stepped back in a time machine, you are kind of right. Today, we are going to be going back in time and reflecting on our high school days. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so my cousin just graduated high school, and it totally brought me back memories from when we were in high school. Mm -hmm. um, the fun, you know, I, I enjoyed high school. Yeah, and uh, you know we're reminiscing about it now, but also cringing about it yeah. based on what we're wearing right now. Oh God, I would never wear this again. <laughs> yeah, actually, let's start with that. Um, I would like an explanation for all of our outfits. So tell me about what you're wearing. Let's break it down. Let's well, start from the youngest. Oh, let's start, or should we start from oldest? We should start from the oldest. No, okay. we should start from the youngest. <laughs> I feel like you want to go go back to current. Okay, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So okay. Janet, That's good argument. Hey, uh, sorry. <laughs> So I went to high school from, I think, 1999 to 2003. Wah, wah. That's a long oh, time that's ago. Not, yeah, like that's 20 young, years young. ago. That's young. <laughs> but needless to say, that was like kind of Y2K era. Mm. You had people like crop tops were really big. Mm -hmm. um, what else was there? Like, I guess like it's it was kind of like Clueless era a little bit. Okay. You'll see that I'm not exactly dressed like that. I was someone who didn't really quite like follow the trend. Mm. I kind of went... I would, I, this is a little bit more like edgy than I would go usually in high school, but I was a, a cross between like kind of preppy and then a little edgy. Mm -hmm. I definitely rocked like Doc Martens, but they were the Mary Jane kind. So it was like a little edgy, but oh, also wow. very preppy and proper. Um, but yeah, usually I went a little bit on the like more more edgy and slightly more creative side I had a pair of jean like jean pants that I turned into a long jean skirt like I ripped it up wow. and I sewed it myself whoa and then later I like cut it and made it into a short skirt um so I was really into kind of just like the more like DIY kind of stuff and then um I had like the I don't know if you ladies remember the black leather like bracelets that people would wear it was a little, maybe, maybe not my dad. Maybe not your time. Maybe the Damn gothic it. people wore that. Yeah. yeah, it was like slightly a little bit gothic, a little edgy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would say that that was a little bit maybe more my style sometimes. And then I was also on the dance team, so I had to flip. But more mm. often than not, it was like a little mm. bit on the more natural colors edgier and more side. Edgier okay, side. what was your makeup like? I didn't really. Oh, okay. I guess I. I guess I did wear makeup in high school, and it would just. It would. If I did, it was like mascara. Um, Mary, yeah, not not a did, lot of did you like shot dark ass eyeliner. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think I tried it, but it was really hard to do. And then it's like if you're going through classes all day, it's like going to be down here by That's the time true. you go. You know? I was assuming that you probably didn't didn't do heavy makeup because you were like really academic focused. And I feel like yeah. and also it's more like I feel like people who are more academic focused in high school were like had a more clean yes. cut look. Mm -hmm. I'm just assuming. Yeah, assuming. yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. then you would have to go during lunchtime when you do your like. Um, what is it like club meetings and mm -hmm. you have to make announcements and yeah. stuff so you, you can't go up there like I mean I guess you could but yeah wait so based on the way you described your look and I could obviously I'm in a very different era did you shop at Hot Topic my sister did I would say no okay like I said I was a little bit more DIY I actually think now that I think back about it a lot of my clothes were still they came from my cousin mm. like when I was all growing up like elementary uh, junior high and then high school some of those pieces came from her I had one older cousin so you know within mm. the family we would pass down clothes that's I think maybe why partially I did like DIY and then um, also like my mom my grandmother actually kept a lot of my mom's clothes so I would take some of her vintage pieces like she had this beautiful like olive green like pencil skirt mm -hmm. and I would pair that with like a t-shirt and like Doc Martens oh wow um, oh, yeah I mean I think High school, I, like it. actual shopping shopping I don't I didn't really shop at the like mainstream stores mm. yeah okay okay but these capri pants you did wear yeah like something of this style of this like um I liked this like what is it the pattern of the plaid yeah um I had them sometimes in like a top that I would put like a button up that I would put over a t-shirt or something or like in in bottoms wow but, Mel would you have been friends with Janet uh maybe if she was in choir may <laughs> maybe but Probably not. Just yeah. based on how she dressed. I no, mean, I, look, I, I look very different from from the yeah. TV, so probably well, we're not crossed. It's hard because when I was in choir, everyone was like very diverse. So I feel like mm, it, it just depends true. like at the clubs. But style was probably not. Would you have been scared of me if you saw? I wouldn't be scared <laughs> yeah, of you. No, I, I, I would just be like, oh, she's really alternative. That's mm. what I would think. Yeah, I would be like, she's too cool. What? <laughs> like to I be DIYing like, and oh, very like the like, DIY doggy. didn't look so good all the time though. <laughs> But yeah, that was my kind of like 
style, even mm-hmm. though I was in the more of the Y2K era. How about you, Helen? You, What years did you go to high school and what are you wearing? How how would you yes. describe? I would say, okay, so I went to high school in 2006 or I graduated in 2006. Oh, and okay. I was in high school for six years. <laughs> Which sounds crazy, but no, my high school was you could either test in at seventh oh, grade oh, okay. Okay. or in I thought you were making a joke. I was super, like, I super senior, yes. Um, but I was there from seventh oh. grade to 12th. That's a long so time. So it's a long, yeah, long time. Yeah. Um, but so 2000 to 2006, That'd went to Boston Latin School, went to Boston. Um, but this is not what I looked like on a day to day. I will say that. Okay, so if you're like, damn, who's this like dancer chick? Like, yeah. that wasn't me. Okay, I was <laughs> way more basic. I shopped at Abercrombie, Hollister, American Eagle, um, Old Navy, Gap. And then there was mm. a store called Tello's, which is kind of like your Charlotte Russe. Mm. Oh, oh my gosh, Charlotte Russe. I remember yes. that. Yeah. So that there was one in downtown Boston, and I used to go there a lot, a little bit more like risque clothing than like your Gap. You yeah, know? yeah, so, yeah. What, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, more yeah. sexy. <laughs> Gap is Gap in know. unison. <laughs> um, but okay, from top to bottom, though, each of these pieces has a meaning okay, for me. Okay. So starting from the top, this bucket hat, I used to wear a blue corduroy puma bucket hat oh. pretty often. Mm. I couldn't find that. So this is a white sample hat that we have for ABG merch that's not going to be in production. Yeah. <laughs> but it's on my head for the purpose of showing the bucket hat. I think back then, I feel like now bucket hats are back in. Yeah, and back yeah. then, it I don't know if it was a thing in your high school. Not really. But like... It was a pure, yeah, yeah. A like thing. some people, right? Yeah. Like LL Cool J popularized yeah, yeah, it yeah. in the 80s. And then I was also... I was wearing it too. Um, so that represents that. And then going down, my hoop earrings. Mm. I used to wear hoop earrings a lot in high school. And because I started high school in seventh grade, I remember there were these boys that would always be like, oh, the bigger the hoop, the bigger the hole. I was like, I didn't really understand. <laughs> you haven't heard that before? I have not. <laughs> really? No one's heard that Oh before? my gosh. So <laughs> exactly. When I heard that, I was like, no shit. <laughs> like, the bigger the hole, right? Like the hole in my ear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So it wasn't until later that, you know, birds and bees conversations. Yeah. And I was like, oh, oh, my God, that's so immature. Yeah. <laughs> and I had already liked my hoop earrings. So I was like, I'm going to continue wearing this and not be bothered by your immature statement. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I've continued wearing hoop earrings. So she got bigger hoops. Though. She I'm just got- <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's not true. Let me just say that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the hoops that I'm wearing and then going down dude so we have this tank top here um a couple of things with this I used to wear a lot of long double layered mm. tanks ah I remember that right? you match with your shoes no. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> like white tanks match with your shoes? You match, you put like a white tank and then a red tank and then match it with your red Converse. Oh, that was okay. a lot. I don't think I had that many shoes. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> but yes, I used to. So these, I feel like nowadays everything's about like cropped oh. everything. So these are cropped. But back then it was like you try to cover your butt with yeah, the tanks, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Almost okay. like a skirt, but then yeah. you were wearing pants underneath. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's like long weird. tops. That was like long tops. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I try to do here with a double layered mm, tank situation. I see. I see. Um, I also, I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but my my bra is very much stuffed. <laughs> oh my gosh! It <laughs> Wait, totally is. No, okay. Sorry. I literally. <laughs> Don't you think these were my real boobs? Yeah. Like, hello, watching. Yeah, that's what all the boys thought in high school. I don't too. know. It was pretty. <laughs> Wait. I was literally dying or laughing because hello, watching. I was like, I didn't know her boobs are that big. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> I don't okay. want to say anything, you know. <laughs> So I did not stuff my bra in high school, but my first bra that I got was from my mom's like drawer. Yeah. And I think I wore my mom's bra and I feel like all the old Chinese Asian lady bras are the ones that are like they're they're like oh, the cupped. Madonna cone. They're like yeah, coned. Yeah. There's yeah. like no they're also like Cone this way. Yes, like ah. this, and there's like some florals, and there's always a little bow in the middle. Yeah. So that was my first bra, and I wore that to high school. My mom didn't take me to go bra shopping. I didn't have like a cute padless training bra to start off with. I wore my mom's like oh wow C bra. Yeah, yeah. That were cupped. There was one time Philip found a photo for me in high school, and he was just like, "Who are you fooling? That's not <laughs> you. That is not you." I was like, "I know," but I don't know. Maybe the boy thought it was real. <laughs> Wait, what'd you stuff it with? So I didn't stuff it. I only, well, today I stuff it with socks. I want to take it out because it's very uncomfortable. But back then it was just like the cups and it just just sat there. Unless someone poked my boob, then be like, (laughs) deflated. That is, I'm still laughing. I didn't know you. Wait, I got to see the removal of the socks. Let's see. What's what's stuffing? Oh, my. Oh, wow. (laughs) Oh, you had two of them? Oh, my. Oh, (laughs) wow. That feels a lot better, y'all. 
And then we're just looking oh, at no. our boobies. Yeah. <laughs> My boobs are gone now. Okay. Other thing. <laughs> oh, we're just going to leave these here. But other thing about this shirt. So I normally didn't wear one with like logos on it. Yeah. It was usually just very plain. But this one says extra. And then if you were to like remove the A, it kind of looks like a C. So back then, I mm. mentioned this on the podcast before, but I feel like back then you always made up like groups with friends. Yeah, yeah, and you were yeah, like, yeah. which Spice Girl were you? Which Powerpuff Girl? Which Power yeah. Ranger were you? So my friends made up this group called XTC. And this reminds me of that. It looks like an XT and a C. And then we also had like this oh, little hand sign that we did. <laughs> so we would go like this. But every time we saw each other, we'd be like, what up? You know? <laughs> Let me show you. So this is the X. This is a T. You got to move it, though. You got to oh. angle it differently. And then the C. <laughs> Helen was in like when a full secret friend, society in high school. But then when you put it together, instead of going like this, it was, it was like a heart. Right. Oh, that cute? okay, that is, a little cute. Heart. that is cute. Anyway, so that represents that <laughs> phase of my life. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lastly, cargo pants. I did wear a lot of cargo pants, but they were capri, like Janet's. Yeah, so capri. these were the only ones I had. They were longer, but I guess they would normally be like here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Other than that, were a lot of like bell bottoms and flares and um, yeah. Mm. This represents me in high school. Not together, but in Time. pieces. I love this. Yeah. I also want to comment. So your the shirt where she says XDC or extra, that font was actually very common to yes. write like baby girl or sweet angel or whatever. Yeah, those yeah, those yeah. T's, I would say those things. When I saw the font, I was like, oh, I'm reminds me back in oh, like. Yeah. yeah. I used to wear t-shirts that said like baby. Yeah. 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 We don't do that no more. Nope. <laughs> oh, man. You took us on a journey and I loved yes. it. Yes. I want to hear about Mel's. This, my, is a, this Yeah. That's high school. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I don't know why. Like Looking at this stuff, I'm like, why was this cute? So I went to high school 2006 to 2009. 2000s. Um, I feel like back then it was definitely it's still like Y2K era, but we shopped mostly at like Forever 21. Like all my tank tops were Forever 21. Um, Charlotte Russe for like the fancier tops or like you're going to a dance, you go to Charlotte Russe. Yeah. Um, and But the trend back then was like a lot of the guys and girls would wear like Nike or they'd wear like a jersey, like a Chicago Bulls jersey mm. or a Celtics mm. and they match it with their Jordan 13s. Mm. Like the green Jordan 13s or like some Nike I don't know the name of. Yeah. And they would also wear those shoes to prom. Did you say Nike? Oh. No, I said Nike. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the Dunks? I don't know. Oh, dunks. I remember those. Yeah. I think I was in, I mean, I was in college then. Uh, yeah. But yeah, they, and they would wear it for formal events. Exactly. For casual. Everywhere. It was like a yeah. big thing. I feel like back then, well, not only was like the Jersey Nike era. I'm so, I know you're <laughs> I laughing. I to clarify in <laughs> yeah. case someone else out there thought Nike. So. <laughs> yes. uh, but um, I think, I'm just like, what else is popular? Urban Outfitters was popular. Oh, okay. That yeah, was like yeah. the cool store to go to. Like, yeah. I remember for us, like, our nearest urban was like San Francisco. So, we like, to take the bar in on the weekends. Like, that was so cool. And, like, mm. their stuff there was like a little bit edgy, mm. which I'm not wearing right now. Um, and then what was popular is whatever the Olsen twins were wearing. Oh, like, oh, Ol okay. Ashley and Mary Kate were like pretty. Maybe that was middle school for me, but I think it did translate in like the Lizzie McGuire type mm. of oh, look, yes, okay. feminine. Like, yeah, yeah. so what I'm wearing is. Um, it's like back then, like long tunic tank tops. Yes. Like this is like really oh, long. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I have the exact same one. Yeah, right. The Me sparkles too. on top <laughs> that cut off right before your boob. Yep. yep. I it's and yeah, then these, the sequin look exactly. Right. I wore this for my 17th birthday, and it's, this is the same top. And then obviously you pair it with a pair of leggings with some ugly ass lace or <laughs> cute lace or any type of leggings. Very feminine. Yeah, and then flats. Always mm -hmm. flats. Mm -hmm. I feel like people got their flats from Urban back in the day. I don't remember actually. Urban Outfitters? I don't think I, think I shopped at Urban High School. I think that was more oh, after oh, high school thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think even looking back in high school, I never wore sneakers. I always wore flats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought they were more yeah. feminine, like kind of cute. And then I always wore a tote. And mm -hmm. I think similar to Helen, what was popular also during high school was Hollister, mm -hmm. Abercrombie. Like mm -hmm. girls would like collect polos and double layer them for double looks. Double layer them, yep. Yep, and then you pair them with like one of these pants. Oh. I wore my my Hollister uh, polos with these pants, and then um, what else is popular? Oh, backpacks were a thing. I don't know if you guys remember backpacks. that, but Jansport backpacks. Jansport yeah. backpacks was the trend, and it still is, which is so wild. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, they dominate the backpack. Yeah, but I think with Jansport, like the cooler ones were the only one zipper because. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't want to yes, bulk. I remember that. You didn't want yeah, it because yeah. you want to be able to like pull your string so it's like higher on your back. Um, and then also, I, I think maybe this is a NorCal thing, but it was very trendy to own a North Face backpack. Oh, which is North Face. Wow. Yeah, yeah. For us, all it the was guys. Jan Sport. But, but 
it makes no sense now because North Face is for camping or for backpacking. And why would you buy it for your high school book? Yeah. I associate North Face with like cold weather. Yeah. yeah we yeah, wore yeah. a lot of North Face jackets, right. but not backpacks. Mm. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, I do remember the backpack thing. The single zipper was cool. Yeah. But that, because it was, I think it was more like rare. And if your parents just went to like the whatever random place, you would get the like uh, the Jansport, like multiple zippers and bags everywhere. And that looked like not cool. Yeah. I don't oh, know why. That wasn't mm-hmm. cool. And then rolly backpacks were like. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, it felt no. like nerdy. It meant that you were like having too many things. Or, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So that was a thing. And then I think another it was like hype piece is really popular in my high school. Like, oh, like really? the guys. That like was definitely later. Like, yeah. really like Stussy was huge oh, Stussy. Amount, amongst the dudes it was more like jinko pants back then mm. for the guys like the big jinko pants jingle bells what <laughs> J- is it j-i-n-c-o jinko jinko you probably jinko. had those i think too, yeah, yeah, the, guys. yeah the guys wore really baggy pants oh like, yeah really baggy like yes. sometimes it looks like a skirt because it would just whoa be, yeah, yeah definitely <laughs> one of my guy friends was um our friend doug <laughs> he actually was the one that was like helen i need help with my pants and i said well what size are you he's like i don't know i just buy the biggest pair <laughs> and then I think they just like felt it. Yeah, yeah. But then the rest of it looks really big. Whoa. So I remember going with all my guy friends to American Eagle and I was like, let's get you fitted. Yeah. <laughs> like, Henry, like I friend Henry yeah. and like Doug and all of them, they were just like, yeah, let's go shopping for pants. Oh, I don't know how to shop. That's I know. So sad. It was a very like grown up moment. Oh. <laughs> I think the last thing I mentioned for, it was probably for, for dudes, because I would, we used to go to the mall and check out guys, whatever. But um, they would wear like the long tees. Oh, long tees and then the earring and then the baggy oh, pants. Yeah, earring. Okay, yeah. I don't know what the guy's style was back. Then. I feel like it was just big, just big and baggy. Mm, yeah. yeah, extra larges of everything. I don't know if that was hot though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. Yeah. I also need to mention my hairstyle. I think back then, I think you both can agree. The like side part was so big, so I tried to do like a deep side part, <laughs> and it's just like it's just like hanging in my face though. But that was a trend for like women's hair. Yeah, like yeah. the yeah. middle part for me wasn't trendy. It was like the side part. Yeah, mm. it actually looks pretty nice on you, yeah. it's, especially with your highlights. Yeah, right now. yeah, I agree. Rocking yeah. pretty well. I'm not working. I'm, I'm not. I'm not changing my hairstyle to this though. <laughs> I was doing that until like two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you were. Yeah, she, she had like more of a way major going. side part. You did, you did. <laughs> it came from like over here. Really? <laughs> I feel like it's a little, it looks like a comb over, so I'm not. Yeah. But if you rock it, you rock it. I don't want to rock it. <laughs> I literally when you came in, I was like, oh, Jennifer Aniston. Like ah, she did, she did side part. She did do the side often. part. She did. Okay, yeah, I gotta yeah. watch. Right? Yeah. I don't know, I'm watching Friends right now. I should check. <laughs> As much as I love scrolling through beautifully aesthetic outfits on Instagram, when it comes to filling my wardrobe with clothes that I'll actually wear, the task of shopping can still feel really daunting, which is why I appreciate Stitch Fix. They have a range of styles in season-ready colors, trends, and patterns. With Stitch Fix, you can get a personal stylist who will curate the perfect pieces for your unique style and fit, which is how I found my favorite pair of vegan black boots to this day. Or you can pick your own items in their freestyle section, which is actually how I got my most recent piece from them. The most convenient part is that they ship outfits to your home where you can try on your selected pieces from the comforts of your own home before you buy. You keep what you love and you send back the rest. Plus, shipping returns and exchanges are always free and there's no subscription required. You can order refreshes as needed or set it and forget it with seasonal fixes. Try Stitch Fix today at stitchfix.com slash ABG and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com slash ABG for 25% off today. stitchfix.com slash ABG. I think one of the best things about high school Mm. are the friendships that are created. Yeah. I don't, have I met some of your high school friends? I think Melanie met some of your high school friends, but like, what were your high school friends like? What was your high school crew like? Where did you Mm. go to hang out after school? What did you do with your friends? Uh, I will say I was kind of like a group hopper, I guess, or like a swimmer does that mm. make sense not like a literal so sw- yeah bunny and a fish okay. yeah i had like <laughs> i had a couple of different groups of people that i mm. kind of like would bounce between um i think when i started high school it was kind of it was the my group of like elementary school mm. friends like people that i had known for a really long time um uh, my friend shannon whose parents still live like two houses down the block from me uh, like we haven't seen each other in a long time but we're in all of each other's like big major life mm. events um so she was in one of my groups and then it was a couple of other elementary school uh girls and they were we were a little bit more like just like shy and quiet and then kind of you know like more understated uh, and then as I got more pro- progressively into like different um, years of high school mm-hmm. I started um, going into like different honors classes and then that there was like what something called ATMS at our school which mm-hmm. is like I think it's like 
something math, technology, science. I don't know. One Whoa. of those programs. It was like kind of nerdy. And then I like got close with a group of other like um, like other girls. And I realized they were all – there weren't that many Asian people, but it was like a couple of Asian girls and a couple of like Indian and Pakistani. So mm. essentially the thing we had in common was like immigrant parents. Mm. And so really driven, high-achieving type people. We would uh, like talk with about like homework and like make sure like, hey, if you have a question on homework, you would call one of them. Mm. Um, and then also like, okay, we're going into college. So it's like make sure you're in this club, you're in that club. And like are you taking the PSAT? Like all of that kind of stuff. Wow. And then I had a third group, which was the dance team. Hmm. Um, and so like every Friday when it was like game day, we would have to come dressed in our like, it looks like a cheerleading outfit. So people like I would be walking in class and people like, oh, my God, you're a cheerleader. I'm like, no, it says dance across my mm. chest. Like, <laughs> I always felt so cool wearing my outfits like during school because I'm like, oh, I have to. <laughs> Like, it's it's supposed to be like a marker of coolness, right? Damn, and you guys had cool outfits. I was a choir <laughs> gown. Oh, yeah. I can't. But I feel like people in my, like, honors classes, like, judged me for that, which is kind of, oh, a, you know, it was like a kind of funky dynamic. Um, but, yeah, I think I didn't quite – I had kind of, like, different groups that I would float around. But they are all – I would – like, Shannon is someone I still consider really, really close with. Mm -hmm. um, and then my group of, like, high school girlfriends that were in, like, the ATMS program, we still kind of – all of them have, like, two kids and are married now. So yeah. during holidays, we'll get together for brunch and stuff. Wow, so wholesome. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was my group. How about Do you think that was a product of, like, where you grew up too, not just like the time period, mm -hmm. but yeah, growing up yeah. in Mission Vie 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 Viejo, Mission Viejo <laughs> slash like Orange County-ish oh, area. Oh, most definitely, most yeah. definitely. I would say that um, if I think about like the first two groups are groups that I naturally gravitated towards mm. and they were from elementary school, even then it was like kind of like um, more like kids of immigrants and then mm. like in the in the honors class it was also like kids of immigrants and kind of personality similarities yeah. too like a little bit more like shy and quiet not mm. like super super shy but just yeah. like we kind of focused on our work we didn't need to be like out in the whatever mm. like I was like what do you guys do for fun like do you guys yeah. hang out oh outside? that's a good question yeah I feel like after school everyone was always either doing homework or when I was in dance it was like dance practice or you go to a club of like a like a group volunteer event um you're always it was we didn't really do things for fun. Everything was like academically. Mm, wow. wow. That's so different. Did you go to like a convenience store? Like, no, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't really like have. Like Jamba I mean, Juice? Jamba. I, oh, I guess like occasionally we'd go to the mall. Mm. Maybe that would be our th like, like going to the mall. Like a weekend thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like go and like watch a movie. And then, yeah, I guess like Jamba Juice was a thing. But a lot of my high school memories were just like academic. Like, yeah, yeah, academic. Everything you were doing was something wow. practice or volunteer or schoolwork or something. Dang, good yeah. Asian yeah. daughter. Very good. <laughs> I don't maybe What about this one? <laughs> I'm not the one wearing extra on my shirt. Um, so my high school I was similar like Janet <laughs> socks away. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was similar like Janet where I kinda did like group hop a bit. Mm -hmm. But like so freshman sophomore year, I had like a group of really good friends from middle school that i hung out with during lunchtime it was a bunch of dudes oh that, mel was no like was it was very the there was like a couple of girls but mostly guys and they would just play cards like big uh, big big two uh -huh. during lunch yeah. and whatever um but then i also had i got into choir mm. my freshman year and i got really into choir and once you're in choir in like three to four choir groups and oh, i was like a here. choir nerd mm. where all my friends became like choir people and we're all in like the leadership of choir so like that was during lunch we'll go to the choir room and like mm. afterwards it'll be practice and we'll go hang out afterwards and then the last group that I kind of maintain like friendships with was I would call them like my neighborhood friends so mm. one of our friends he was a little bit older than us his mom loved having all of us over her mm. name's Tammy oh, she's like nice. she's like a second mom it's very, it felt very like all-american type of high school mm. scene where on Fridays, we'll come over. She'll make like chip and dish. She'll make casserole. She'll make spaghetti. Oh wow, that's very and she'll hard. have a pool, yeah. and we'll go play in the pool. That's and then so we'll, cute. Yeah, and we'll hang out. And then everyone who lived like within a few blocks will come over to her place. And then sometimes she'll drive us to football games, and we'll all go together. Oh. And like the the group that went there was such a hodgepodge of different types of people. Like we didn't really hang out at school, but very different groups. My two best friends from like elementary school, Lindsay and Vicky, were part of that neighborhood group. Mm. But um, yeah, different types of people. I would bounce depending on like. Oh, what lunch period do you have? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have my friends in middle school there. I'll hang out with them. If not, I'll go to choir. Um, in terms of like what we did for fun, after school, we would always walk to the closest Asian plaza. Like It was ah. just a plaza. And we would get a pho. Dang. And Tapioca Express. 
The one in Union City to this day in the Bay Area is still one of the best tapioca expresses for popcorn chicken. Is that the one you uh, took me to? Yeah. Oh, okay. The, bo- yeah. the boba's okay, yeah. but the popcorn chicken's really good. Mm. Sorry, I'm like getting hungry thinking about it. <laughs> and then I guess another thing we did for fun was like during summertime or weekends or on Fridays, you would like go to the, the mall and get like a frappuccino from Starbucks. Oh, oh yeah. Right? It's a frappuccino. Yes. <laughs> no, we don't drink that no, no yeah. more. <laughs> and you'd walk around with your girlfriends and like kind of check out guys. Oh, you're scoping out men. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> or you, if you had enough money, say that you go to Photo Magic and take those sticky oh, pictures. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those, sticky pictures. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That was yeah. such a thing. Um, and then in the last, sometimes during summer, like, if we convince our parents, they'll drive us to, like, oh, um, it's called Union Landing, like, the movie theaters. Mm. And we'll watch a movie with our friends. But we always had, like, our backpacks with us. Mm. Like, school backpacks? I don't know why. We always had our backpacks. Because <laughs> I think we didn't know how to carry a purse. Uh, you know? Okay, or you, maybe you didn't have like a purse. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Or you might go to like Chili's if you like are cool. You know, yeah, I don't yeah. know. So that was like when I when I think about high school and my friends and we did. It was a lot of that and like just like I was like, what did I talk about in high school? I was like, oh, we talk about our crushes. Yeah, um, yeah. That was Mel amazing. still talks about yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I still am the same. I talked about schoolwork. She talked about boys. Yeah, <laughs> schoolwork. <laughs> to be honest, we never. I mean, I wasn't like not a good student, but we just, just get it done. We just want to. Yeah, we just yeah. want to play. Yeah, yeah. But that was mine. Um, Miss wow. XTC over here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was such a good kid. You did academically really well. Um, okay, so we're talking about friends though, right? Like yeah, friend, friend, what'd you do? Friends. So yeah. I mean you guys have met like some of my high school Christine, friends uh, yeah. and they're just amazing um people. Like if I think about my high school actually, our graduating class was only 360 or so mm. which i think is pretty small, that is pretty small i think yeah. you said like yours was a thousand like 900 and something yeah hundred like 700 yeah. that's that feels like a lot and um for us i didn't realize that ours was so small but having been with these same mm. people for six years yeah. like yeah, knowing them through the most awkward and potentially the most impactful period of their mm. lives i feel like once you stick through with these people like they become your like lifelong friends yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. and I will say that I think my I was actually closer to my high school friends than my college friends probably mm. for that reason yeah. that we were just together for so long um but if I were to describe my high school crew in three words I would say um very chill very mm. down they're so down to have fun um high achieving I think mm. kind of like you mentioned too Jay like our our school was like a college prep school that you had mm. to test into so everyone was just I think we did a lot of trauma bonding together mm. Um, and then thirdly, I would just say very loyal, just a very loyal group of friends that will always be there for you, like no matter what. And the friends that I had, my like closest groups, my closest group of friends, I would say, were like in the volleyball scene. Mm. Oh, that was my thing. Like ever since ninth grade, I think ninth or eighth grade was when I first joined. And then from then on, I just got really close to these people. It's like we're spending all this time in school together mm. for six years. And then after school, you have volleyball practice mm. and then you have away games. And then yeah, during the yeah. summertime, we joined nine man volleyball. So mm. we were playing, played in that league for like. 13 or so years like wow, it was wow. just very consistently volleyball was our thing even on Fridays one of our friends um, ran the Boston Chinatown Neighborhood Center so there was a volleyball court in there and then Friday nights we would go there we would play and then afterwards mm. we'd go get dinner in Chinatown oh, or wow. just get ready to go out because going out basically is like in that area anyway mm. wow you went out in high school yeah what the heck Maybe that was in college. <laughs> Maybe that was college. But we would go out to like eat. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, and I yeah, know yeah. there were points sometimes where like we were like gotten ready in the bathroom to go yeah, out, yeah. out. So I don't know what that was. <laughs> we would go out. I don't know what we did. Maybe just go to McDonald's or something. Like dress up and go to McDonald's. <laughs> oh, but you went through the process of like getting ready. Yeah, school. yeah, yeah. Well, oh, there okay. were 18 yeah. over clubs. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. I def- I'm pretty sure I've been to a club at 19 yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's 18 over. Yeah. yeah. And then for like non, I guess, volleyball days, we would go to the mall. There's a mall in Copley that's mm. a relatively big mall, beautiful mall, and it's open like 24 7. The stores aren't open, mm. but like the mall itself is mm. open. Oh, interesting. So I think, I don't know if it's because it's so cold there sometimes during the winter time that you have to get from point A to point B and it's just open yeah. <laughs> for you to like mm. walk through. But we would hang out in that mall a lot. The Starbucks, the hangout Barnes and Nobles, the Frappuccinos, um, would go to friends' houses, would go to JFK Beach and just, it was a beach that had a lot of syringes, but it, it was a like beach nonetheless, a Boston <laughs> beach. It was a very like just big city vibes, you know, mm. type of childhood. And Boston is just a very beautiful place to grow up in. So mm-hmm. I felt very lucky to, to grow up there. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I realized, yeah, your high school group of all of ours is more mixed with like guys and girls. And it's like it's like a small like you're saying it's like a program that you guys all kind of came up together. Yeah. I feel like Mel's I most most of yours have been like female, right? And mine are no, almost... all my all my high school friends are guys or like the middle school guy friends. Oh. I, I'm like the 
The one oh, I finished. middle school. But they're like, but they're they're my high school friends too. Oh, we all, I think it might be your college friends and stuff. Yeah, my, yeah, my yeah, college yeah. friends are all uh, female. Yeah. Yeah, mine were all like, I had I had maybe like one closer guy friend oh. in high school, but like they were all like women. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. I can see Mel being a, a guy's girl. Yeah, I kind of. I'm actually to this day. I'm, I'm still in the group chat with all of them, and they're like mm. all like getting married now, and Aww. like that's when I officiated the wedding last oh, year. Oh, it's my friend Kevin sweet. from middle school, but high school. Cute. Hello everyone, Helen here, and this one is for all the parents out there who have babies that are still in their diapers. If you're a parent, I will be shocked if you haven't experienced a nasty, outrageously unnecessary blowout just yet. We used to experience them, and they were never a good time. But now, with the new and improved Pampers Swaddlers Diaper with Blowout Barrier Innovation, Swaddlers prevents up to 100% of leaks, even blowouts. This diaper has a blowout barrier at the back waist to prevent those messy leaks and blowouts, plus dual leak guard barriers at the legs to help protect leaks where they happen most often. Pamper Swaddlers are dermatologist approved by the Skin Health Alliance, hypoallergenic, and free of parabens and latex. Yes, we only want the best for our babies. They're available in sizes newborn to size 8 and now feature designs with new animal characters, Shiloh the Elephant and Freddy the Duck. How cute! For trusted protection, trust Pampers, the number one pediatrician recommended brand. I swear I have the worst luck with doctors. So one time I had to find a new doctor under my insurance and it took me months to find. One, I had to find a new doctor under within my network, see if they're taking new clients, and then read through different websites to see if they're good or not. When I finally found one, the nearest appointment was three months away. And two weeks before my appointment, they called me letting me know my doctor had to cancel. It was definitely not a good experience, which is why I'm happy I heard about ZocDoc. ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top-rated patient-reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat almost any condition you're searching for. The average wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between just 24 to 48 hours. That's it. Luckily, I have found a new doctor, but if I needed this product, it's what I would use. Go to ZocDoc.com slash ABG and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find a book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash ABG. ZocDoc.com slash A-B-G. All right. The next thing we're going to talk about are the three Ds. 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 I like to call them. Uh, first one is Dating. Okay. Dances and debauchery. Okay. Mm. Ooh, love this. <laughs> the first one we're going to be talking about is dating. Mm. Okay. What was the dating scene and culture like in your high school? Oof. Okay, sure. I'll go first. <laughs> um, so I think because I mentioned that our class was pretty small. Yeah. I would say that my high school is fairly incestual. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Would, like, <laughs> everyone dated each other, right? Like we, uh, yeah. If you think about it, like the people that you meet in high school are going to be the people that are in your class yeah. or in your vicinity. It's not like you're going out to bars. You're not right. in college where there's mm -hmm. like tens of thousands of people to meet. You're in high school and it's like you go to PE and it's like, ooh, or the upperclassmen and that's it, right? So in that's a relatively true. small school, like, you're going to be dating everyone around you. <laughs> so it's not uncommon that I dated like some of my best friend's exes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, my bridesmaid, I know. Christine. I think oh. we dated like two, maybe three of the same guys, which sounds crazy. But it honestly, makes sense. I think it makes sense. There's right? like no awkwardness at all. Okay. Just because maybe it was a more accepted thing of that was just yeah. what we did. Mm. But <laughs> no, that makes a lot of sense, I feel like. But I think what's funny is that in current day, like we're all still friends mm, with like yeah. old exes or whatever. Like we're all still in the same group of friends. And the way I think about it is that, yes, there are memories, but there's no like missing. There's no longing. There's no like what if. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was yeah. so long ago. And then yeah. like people have moved on since then. So there's like no awkwardness at all. We, I, we actually went to my first boyfriend ever. His name is Phil, which is funny. <laughs> I'm married to a Philip, but we went to his wedding mm. with Philip. Yeah. And yeah. Philip was like, is this awkward? I'm like, not at all mm. like not at all and there was one time when he philip had come to boston and he forgot his shoes and we were going to a club he ended up wearing phil's <laughs> dress shoes philip oh. wore phil's shoes and he was like i'm literally walking in the shoes of your ex <laughs> i'm like literally you are. <laughs> but it's like yeah it's not awkward at all we all dated each other it's all cool um and yeah that was, i guess that was what the dating mm. scene was kind of like wait so then when like through the like four years or you were there for six years then like were you in a relationship for like most of the time? How long did you date these I, people? So the, my first boyfriend, 
Phil. Um, we dated for like I think it was. <laughs> I think we were on for like a year, and then we might have been like off. But he was like my main, main like boyfriend. high school sweetheart uh, mm. guy. There was one other person, but not as long as the first one was. Oh, yeah. okay. So then, so it was like on off, and then you had periods where you weren't really seeing anyone, but just kind of like crushing and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't think I, I wasn't like dating around. I never really yeah. dated around. There was one other person that I, I almost developed like a boyfriend girlfriend relationship mm-hmm. with. Yeah. That another person was like outside of my school. Actually, he was like this little gangster dude that got oh. his ass beat on a beach, and I was just like, this is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Um, and I think that was. Oh, and then there was another guy, which was Christine's ex. We dated for a little bit, um, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't, one one high school sweetheart. I don't <laughs> really consider those boyfriends though. Yeah, anything, yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of those things where like, like you're, ta- you're talking. Yeah, 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 it lasts for like a month. Um, yeah, and then it's done. I feel like a lot of high school love mm. is kind of like that, where it's just like, uh, like, like we have a mutual only. friend who I dated for a week, and we never <laughs> like held hands, and we're like, okay, never mind, it's not gonna work. So. <laughs> I don't know. That's I guess that's what it was like. Yeah. 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 How about for you? Yeah. Love? Would you agree? Um, it wasn't as incestual. I think because again, my school was larger. Yeah, thousand people. Yeah, we had a lot of people. Yeah. I will say dating culture was huge though. Like mm. it was very known when someone was together. There was so much PDA going on. Like really, Whoa, dude. People were like making out during lunch break and stuff. Wow. I think one time, I, maybe this is middle school though, but there's one couple that always make out. Our math teacher be like, hey, hey, like break it up, like whatever. I was like, this is so weird. Wow. The one in the classroom. What about you though? Yeah, I had <laughs> one long term boyfriend for two and a half years. I was that was my longest relationship um (laughs) (laughs) mm, to this day um but I will say the dating culture is interesting in the sense that like they celebrated one month anniversaries two month anniversaries oh yeah and I I see what you mean by very focused yeah and I remember my friend Lindsay um her boyfriend at the time for her her one month he got her literally a whole outfit from Urban Outfit no from Hollister and I was like like it's expensive for a high schooler. Where do you get money for that? That sounds like wow, it was such a big thing. And during Valentine's Day, it was really about big gestures. Like uh. who had the flowers, who had the balloons, who had the thing waiting on their desk. Like it was such a thing. All oh, the things mm. waiting on your desk. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. That's Even the nice. candy grams during yeah. lunch break. But I would say overall, dating was a large thing. Mm. Yeah, that actually explains a lot of Mel's like personality, where she's like very focused on love, like, love, mm-hmm. and like weddings romance. and romance. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. I'm assuming yours wasn't. I yeah. Once again, I feel like we were opposite on this. Um, I like was so focused on school and high school, I like did not even like look at guys. And I know that what? there was a dating culture, <laughs> but um, guys. but yeah, I was just I was really focused. Honestly, it's like if you were if I were a guy, school, I'd be like, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, people may have like showed interest and I would have not like yeah. if you were trying to get in any way, you know, um, the one person I did date actually was um, I've shared in previous episodes that I had cousins that lived in like the 626 area. So yeah. I'd see them on the weekends. And we met this guy who actually went to um, high school out in mm. um, the 626. And he was just someone who was so persistent because not only did he not go to my high school, but he was like, you know, long distance and stuff. But that's why I think we dated is because he was like just really like, you know, he was, like, puppy love mm-hmm. and, like, someone who also really loved love. And so it was, like, really expressive and, like, constantly, like, messaged me on AIM. Yeah. And then we were, like, friends and he, like, dated someone in between because I was, like, he's, like, well, I'm kind of, you know, like, we're not, like, in the same place, but there's this other girl. But I don't know. I just want to, like, see if you're interested. I was, like, no, go date the other girl. I got to, like, I got homework to do. <laughs> but we eventually, like, mm. through the end of my high school, um, dated and into college so he would be like my one like high school sweetheart Aww. but not from my high school area um yeah and i would say probably my close group of friends similar i mean there were a couple of them that did date but it wasn't like as big of a thing mm. and then i think some of the other social groups there was like asking to prom and mm. a little bit more showy but mm. i was just so like yeah academic yeah. yeah i feel like the asking to prom thing wasn't a big thing <laughs> yeah in my, oh maybe for her yeah i think for for like the, a later a slightly later yeah, 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 yeah generation yeah. or a year like i could see it i think i feel like once it became popularized like everyone did it suddenly yeah. needed that right mm. yeah i don't even remember how my i was asked I, it might have been like a note in my locker or oh, something. really that's sweet, yeah. Aww, that is sweet. I, it's still an ask though yeah it was a formal like mine mine's like like oh i hate that i not mm. I got asked. Yeah. <laughs> through like, a strip show. What? <laughs> during my choir final. Oh my god. Wow, talk about like expressions of like romance like and love. It. Yeah, okay. Like it. it was very I mean it was at the moment I was like, oh my god, you know, but um he, for our choir final we had to sing a, a solo. Yeah. By yourself in front of everyone. And for 
that my boyfriend at the time he decided to like he's wearing a button down shirt took that off and then took off his other shirt and it, on the last shirt it says would you go to prom with oh me oh my gosh cute. that's cute but he was lip syncing he was singing to usher nice and slow <laughs> oh, for a high school that's a little wow a little risque hey. a little risque yeah. yeah anyways that's how i was asked to do your prom wow that is really that's like a big showing. So yours is a locker note. I don't remember. Yeah, I like made that up. Weird. It was probably something like that. Yeah, I, I, but I don't mind something low key. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I didn't mind because I had no expectations either. Yeah. I was just yeah, like yeah. glad that I was asked. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, like, yeah. Oh, I feel you. Cool. Yes, I think my boyfriend at the time showed up to because he lived in a different yeah. place. And he would come visit. He showed up when I opened the door. He was just wearing a giant poster that said, "Will you go?" Oh, that's cute. Like, cute. I was like, it's cute. cute. But I was also like, "What? Why?" Like, he's just like, like "Would you do my homework for me?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the second D, dances. Love dances. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's think back about what was your first slow dance like? And then also, what was your first, I don't know if they call it this anymore nowadays, but back then when you said freak dancing, or is like what you would do that was to a fast song with a guy, right? Versus or a slow, slow one. Oh, oh yeah. I guess, yeah. Maybe some of the slow, yeah, yeah. Why do we do that? And you you go first, okay. Mel. All <laughs> right. So my first dance, slow dance, is actually in eighth grade, um, eighth grade promotion dance, and it was to my middle school crush that I really liked, who I'm Aww. still friends with today, and yeah, now has a baby and is married. But it was to "Let Me Love You" by Mario, and that was like definitely like a dream come true moment because I liked him so much. Um, so yeah, it was like Mario, "Let Me Love You." Oh, I'll be a freak dance. I don't remember my freak dance, but I remember being shocked when I saw it happen for the first time. <laughs> I was like, what are they doing? And I remember that. And then you're like, let me try. Yeah. But I remember being shocked. And I know what song I was shocked to. It was One Two Step by Sierra. And then the, oh. guy, the guy was like really tall and the girl was really short. And I was like, how is that happening in front of me? <laughs> My first freak dance probably was like some homecoming dance in high school. Mm. And it was always more like, you know, you're dancing with your girlfriends and someone comes behind you and you're just like, I think you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're like, and you're like, still no, do that. Yeah. yeah. Not I me, mean, not anymore because we all have boyfriends. And, and now we don't, we don't now, freak but... dance anymore. I mean, okay. I mean, uh, we don't, but she does. <laughs> all right. We all do. Yeah. I don't anyway. know about that. Okay. Anyways, that was my answer. How about you? Um, I actually don't remember my first slow dance. Really? Oh, I don't remember that one. I remember my first freak, freak dance. <laughs> of course you could. <laughs> Who and what song and where? So it was um, at a, some like Asian org had, it might have been like a college org through an underage party at a church. <gasps> oh, and all the components, right? <laughs> all the components. And that was my, my sister was there. Like oh. it was a bunch of people there. Um, and I remember I was just dancing and I had never done the, I mean, we call it grinding, freak dancing, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. hadn't done that before and then someone ca came up behind me and I saw who it was and I said oh shit this is a guy that impregnated someone in high school <gasps> oh shit <laughs> so I was like mm. and of course I feel like now knowing what I know I would have been like oh no thank you yeah. you yeah, know yeah. but like I was like oh I want to look cool like I want to try yeah, this yeah, out yeah. everyone's kind of in this yeah, social yeah, status mood yeah. and freak dancing I was like okay I guess I'll try with like the ultimate <laughs> <laughs> So like it was it was like it was pretty like hot. It was pretty like everything was, you know, you <laughs> felt everything, but I was just like, this is wild. And of course I was like moving with it. I was trying really hard. And the whole time though in my head I was just like, don't get pregnant. Don't get pregnant. Don't get pregnant. Don't get pregnant. Cause I was like, this can't lead to something. I hope I'm not leading him on. Like, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. freaking out and that was all I was thinking about in my head. Was your sister watching? Yeah, that's what I would have. I think I, she was somewhere. She was somewhere oh, she's else. Not. She was she's, somewhere else. She's free dancing somewhere else. Yeah, she was probably. But I was just like, don't get pregnant. What song? I don't remember what the song was. I, I don't think I was focused enough. Yeah, I, think I was just, just thinking, don't move, get pregnant. Like, oh my God. appropriately. I wish I was watching this oh in real gosh. life. Oh my gosh. Poor poor young helen i know i'm thinking about young helen <laughs> i'm just happy that afterwards he like we kind of just said bye and then uh -huh. nothing else happened after that and i didn't feel pressured to like yeah. do yeah. anything more so that's my first the ultimate <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh shit oh, oh my shit gosh. Uh, how did you do you're like <laughs> yeah i mean you can you kind of you know, peek back like i forgot that that's that. how they approach you that it, it's behind they don't fucking ask. and then there they don't ask. yeah the whole point is that there's no asking that they just kind of like yeah and if they're and they're not cute your girlfriend friend who pulls, pulls you, you away oh, yeah, they're yeah. like they're like kind of like go with you yeah and no like, one pulled me yeah <laughs> your turn how about for you janet wow my story is about to be the, on the opposite end of the spectrum <laughs> she did arms length <laughs> yeah actually yeah really but my first slow dance was actually in sixth grade oh. uh, we had this it was the first dance i had ever attended and it was like the sixth grade end of elementary school like big kid dance or whatever oh. and um during when i was in sixth, 
when I was in sixth grade at the time, there were a group of guys from our elementary school who had made it to the World Series as Little League baseball players. Wow. And um, one of them was like this kind of like shorter, nerdy kid. Yeah. I thought he was really cute though. He's very sweet. But I had no, I went to the dance like with my girlfriends. I had yeah. no, at the time it was still like guys have cooties, yeah. which is kind of weird sixth grade, but I was like a late bloomer, right? Mm-hmm. And so I was, I still remember I put on my like shimmery shadow yeah. and like my limited two dress. Um, oh, and sh- then like Savage Garden comes on and oh man and I suddenly feel this little I was like what I turned around I was like what's up you know and he's and and his friends kind of like pushed him oh, and then we yeah. went out and I was I didn't know to, and it was literally dancing like holding elbows Aww. like this <laughs> so cute. that is really sweet it was very it, I was very surprised and taken aback but yeah in, in hindsight memory I was like oh that is really sweet Damn. um but yeah that was my first slow dance and then freak dance I don't I still, I don't know to this day if I freak dance. Girl, I think you can freak dance. Oh, for sure. For sure. I mean, we've seen you freak dance the air. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess that would be my thing is like, I have freaked, I will, I will dance I by freaked. myself. I freak dance myself but with you, no partner. You didn't freak dance in high school? Not really. Or if I did, it was like by myself. And yeah. Then, and I was very like. Wait, how do you freak dance by yourself? And I, or, well, here's the thing. The air, I have a guy, like my like, boyfriend is with me, but I was like. No, we're not like. Really? I felt like it was like compromising oh, for me to make me like. I was like, I'm not gonna give you that power. Like, Damn, I want to slut in high school. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean, I think it makes sense for some girls if you're. I don't know. I think I was like a little hard headed yeah. and like a little like independent and kind of like I'm not gonna do that. Like you can dance oh. and then I'm gonna dance by myself and we should. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm over here like being up against the wall and him picking me up on junior prom night. <laughs> like, damn, that was no. the, that was the thing when the guy would pick you up. Wow, lift. And, you were lifted. I was lifted. <laughs> Even the ultimate didn't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, shit. But anyways, I'll stop Dang, talking. Dang. Okay. I'm pretty sure you did that, too. No, oh, maybe. I actually, I had a little flashback. <laughs> I, was, and like, I was like, no. Yeah, the lifting. Yeah, we were smaller back like, then. So, it's easier <laughs> to lift us, too. Yeah, I'm actually really ashamed if I think about it now. <laughs> Very innocent. Hi, Mom. <laughs> okay, so the last of the Ds. It's not what you think. <laughs> it's debauchery. Okay. Oh, wait. You already said debauchery earlier. Okay. It's debauchery. <laughs> so, where were you? So, I feel like I have a general sense mm-hmm. of Janet, you were probably more of a goody two shoes. Yeah. Mel, I can't really tell yet. But, like, what types of things were you all sort of, you know, the more risque things? Did you skip school, drink, mm. smoke, like, mm. and do all that stuff? I was so focused on school. I was very just like, I knew that happened around me, maybe. But even then I was, I like never attended a part. I don't even know if I went to parties, but if I did go to anything, I'd never had seen like alcohol or drugs or anything. Mm. Like I said, I like never saw it anywhere. I was just not aware. I was so mm. What was the craziest on... thing you did in high school? She slept late. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just yeah, like, I don't maybe. know. I didn't do crazy things in high school. I mean, in college, I think it's like I did like then when I started drinking, like I would, I would drink a lot and then we would go out and I she, went to like was, Tijuana with my friends yeah. so she, she was that girl in high school that didn't do anything in high school and then and college then went, went a little crazy, crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah we know you're tired still graduated and everything but it's yeah it was definitely I was definitely a late bloomer so we're yeah. talking high school nada wow yeah. I think that's girl. not the case apparently for the way yeah, you, how you, about you, Mel? you know, up against the wall yeah. okay, <laughs> I'm I'm ass up ass down yeah I was ass up ass down in high school not <laughs> no more um I'll be really honest I, it's weird just to talk about this time I did party in high school I started when I was 16 mm-hmm. i went to uh like a house party and oh. it was someone's birthday and i totally I, yeah i did that <laughs> i definitely drank and then like um i feel like my 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 youth during the time was like very experimental like people mm. did people did marijuana like it was common like i was surprised how young people started actually mm. um i didn't start really young because i was like oh that's weird like i didn't i wasn't a big fan of it um and i tried it and i didn't and i was like it's kind of thing when you try you're like Am I high? I don't know. <laughs> and then you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. So you're like, I didn't do it. And back then, the trend during my time was hotel parties. Mm-hmm. And we would call them mm-hmm. tellies. I actually don't know how anyone who actually got their reservations for these hotels. But yeah, you, you get the hotels, you get a suite, and invite everyone over. Mm. And oh, they'll so party. someone's parents was booking this yes. for their kid. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, that was the trend back then. Yeah. yeah. We also had, we didn't call them tellies, but we had hotel parties also. You did? I would say I was pretty, I was a pretty bad kid. I would say between seventh and probably ninth grade mm. was like my phase where I didn't 
play a lot of sports. I didn't have a lot of after school activities that focused my time. Yeah, yeah. And I think when that is the case, you do end up just like hanging out after school. Yeah. And what do you do? And you, if you don't hang out with the right people, like mm-hmm. you're going to get sent down like a wrong path. And um, I still remember when I like I would skip. I was a highly functional delinquent. So I got really mm. good grades, but I also skipped school a lot. I stole a lot, drank like it was just yeah, wow. not a great. I would say I wouldn't want a daughter like me, mm. Aww, <laughs> but then I also got really good grades, phase. right? Yeah. yeah. And then after ninth grade, I think once I started getting into volleyball, mm. that's when I started becoming a, a much better, much better daughter. That's nice. Yeah. I think back then also I was just, uh, I was very nice to people around me, but it wasn't until I got home that I was like not nice to my parents mm. and my family. And yeah. It's the teenage angst. I went through that too. Even yeah. though I was like, you know, like proper or whatever, like high achiever in school, I think you just get moody and then it's easy to be like yeah. people that you're Mean to the people with. you're comfortable yeah. with. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was definitely me. All right. Well, we're going to end this episode with asking you both and I guess myself, what high school memory do you cringe at the most? You gotta choose like one or two. Do you have one, Janet? Uh, the only one that comes to mind is that at the like my senior year in high school, I auditioned for the musical and I can't sing. And I hey, you can have, no. Yes, you can. I heard you. <laughs> I've heard you sing. No, and I just remember being so embarrassed, like because they there's like the dance part and then there's the singing mm. part, and the dance part I nailed, and I was like, I'm confident about yeah. that. The singing, I I did choir in like elementary school, mm-hmm. and I was our theater program was actually like pretty good, yeah. and there were people that there was like a classically trained opera singer. <laughs> oh shit! So I just remember being there, and then like kind of like trying to hit the notes, and I was singing the Little Mermaid part of your world, and I just remember seeing faces, and I was like. Okay, thanks, no. bye. <laughs> so, that was a little cringe. But Do you want to redo right now? No, I'm good. I don't need to redeem myself anymore. Yeah, I think I'm good. But that's like one of the main. How about yeah. you ladies? Any- For me, so there's two. I don't know. It's not as embarrassing now, but like I was on the swim team and I remember I, I just got a new boyfriend, my, my boyfriend from high school, and I had a swim cap. He wanted to meet me after practice and I saw him. I was like doing my last and I see him and I was just like, oh shit, because you look... I look, I look really unattractive with the swim cap. Like bald and like, I look, yeah, I was like, I look like, <laughs> and like it's just goggles. sorry. And then like, the cap was like squeezing my head, <laughs> so that was something I cringe at. And then the second thing is also singing related. I think at the time I didn't make um, the jazz choir, which is an acapella choir, but me and a couple friends sang the national anthem for this like opening wow. show. Wow, national wow. anthem is hard, dude. I don't think we sounded very great. <laughs> <laughs> like thinking back now, and it was like acapella. Like I think back then we're like, oh, we sounded, oh, that's fine. It was okay. But you know when you know it's not your best work, you're like, that wasn't very good. Dang. Cause <laughs> I just thought of a cringe moment for someone else, but it's okay. <laughs> See, now related. I know. Well, he's he was a very um confident person, very well liked and very I would say cocky. Yeah. Mm. Not even just confident, like cocky. And he was also on choir and he had a note that he had to belt. <sighs> And he fucking cracked. Oh, no. <laughs> and to this day, I still remember that. And we still talk about that oh, with our shit. friends. Because he was so like, so, I'm amazing. Really, yeah, 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 yeah. That's you know. hard when you have the confidence. Oh, man. And I hope he's not watching that. right now. <laughs> but I remember that. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, what's yours? Okay, so mine was not in school. It was, um, yeah, I haven't, I, I was trying to think about this. So the moment that makes me cringe was after I had broken up with my one of my boyfriends uh, we were sitting on a beach and we were sitting like along the ledge mm-hmm. and I think like all our friends were around us I think it was like a summer outing and we we're just all hanging on the beach and for some reason I thought that was a good time to break up with him so <laughs> oh no <laughs> we were like sitting on a ledge and we were I was like okay break up like, oh, okay and then I felt really really bad afterwards uh-huh. so then I don't know why I did this but I just started walking towards the ocean <laughs> I just started walking towards the ocean and I can't remember if I like had a bathing suit on if I was fully clothed but I like went into the ocean and then I kept going as if like oh you're trying to just like go away from him or like you want him to come get you maybe oh like chase like I was like gonna kill myself or something I think that was like (laughs) what I wanted people to drama yeah (laughs) I guess it was a very dramatic walk into the ocean (laughs) but I got my ass up and I just started walking into the ocean did he follow you no one followed me (laughs) and I was like up to my neck (laughs) And like she said, you're like me. I've just been heartbroken. Even yeah. I broke his heart. Like, I, I think I wanted someone to come after me and be like, "Oh, it's not that bad, Helen. Like, you know, he'll be fine. Like, yeah. you didn't. You're not a terrible person." But like, no one came after me. And then now that I think back to that moment, I was like, "That's hella cringe." <laughs> Everyone's like playing volleyball over there, having like, fun, and I'm fucking <laughs> walking into the ocean. So at one point, you're like, "Oh, I should go back." <laughs> <laughs> I think I stayed out there for a good while, and I was like, All right, "I'm gonna head back." <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty cringy. <laughs> I could just see him like, 
I did. Yeah, I looked back and no one was behind me. It, the ultimate wasn't there. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> He's underwater. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. grinding. All right, that was an interesting end. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us on our walk down memory lane to our high school days. Wow. I feel like I learned a lot about all, like <laughs> I, each of you. Very much so. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I feel like of these three outfits, Mel's probably hits the most for, high school? for me yeah, for like, yeah. high school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, leave us a rating and review on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, and also leave a comment on YouTube. What are some memories that also resonated with you, whether you went to high school when Janet did? Or when, when I did. Mel did or when yeah, I did. We, we would did. love to see it. And also you can catch us on all of our socials at Asian Boss Girl, all the different platforms. And with that, we will catch you all on the next episode. Bye. Bye.